Hi guys, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Lavinia with your November 21st to 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share, and subscribe and show your love. For personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com The sun enters Sagittarius on the 21st jupiter the planet of abundance then forms a square to pluto on the 24th we can be quite ambitious now feeling that if we set our sights high enough we can achieve anything we may take on too many interest activities or desires under this influence it's a call to exercise caution and to be rather practical Taurus, welcome to this week's reading. I will be using the Life Coaching by Doreen and of course a variation of my virtual decks and a message from God's promises for this week's reading. We're starting off the week with relationship dynamics, dietary change and seeking and finding. So relationship dynamics. Things are changing in your relationships. Um, you're moving away from people who no longer serve your growth. And that is quite fine because with this time of such great changes, um, we can no longer vibrational, vib vibrationally be around energies okay, that do not support where we're at. Okay, and you may see signs of this as arguments with people that you once shared something in common with. Um, you may see this evolve as um, not wanting to communicate, wanting to be by yourself. But you are able to see things clearly and you're being asked to really honor those changes that are going on within and around you. A time of releasing while remaining rather grounded. So they're saying third eye chakra activation. Get your, your spiritual center activated so that you are able to see things clearly. Those of you who are having trouble and still want to fix things and want to remain in those stagnant energies, know that things are happening because it is time for you to move forward. Really step away from what no longer serves you. Okay, so relationship dynam dynamics, honor those changes. Okay, yes, because dietary change, lots of change, conscious evolution observing the self observing your needs and desires at this point of your manifestation work for you um your team is saying light body activation really um changing the way you eat um really supplying the body with um the natural foods of the earth um veganism vegetarianism for some um but really changing your relationship with your body and what you put into your spiritual center because you know um this is the temple the body is the temple of the spirit temple of the divine temple of divine light divine light runs through our veins so for you this is light body activation really being light so when you go for some those of you who travel astral travel um your body is light and when you come back to your the spirit is light so that when you come back to your body um you don't have to go through um aches and pains and all those things because of the changes that are going on within and around you um they're saying pay attention to your dreams this week i'm feeling that lots of information will be filtered through the dream kingdom about the next phase of your manifestation work okay really seeking and finding looking within for um, guidance as to what to do next all right this is prayer meditation really looking within for guidance as to what to do next 
connecting with your spiritual team connecting with the light within you okay for the answers no longer look outside yourself for answers no longer look to the flesh the desires of the flesh because through um your experiences you know that um it can be rather complicated you know um looking to people because we're all seeking we're all searching okay um with this evolutionary process no one is better than the other we're all going through the same trials at different points you know but um by looking within you are able to assess make a an assessment of where you're heading what your heart needs what you want and desire and to make decisions and choices that are heart centered this week um with the full moon releasing um this could be seen clearly that you're moving away from people's situations that no longer serve your growth this could be seen so um you being asked again they're saying meditation prayer call on your spiritual team for the guidance look within look to yourself okay your higher self for the guidance that you need that will enable you to move forward on your path and i was sharing with a um, couple of the other signs that when i first started meditating it was the scariest thing you know being sitting quietly and being within the self understanding that you know um you're not the self the flesh what you see on the outside but divine light runs through our veins and there is something that needs to be honored on the inside. So understanding that, knowing that, you know, it could be really scary at first. But when you train your brain and your mind to go within, it, it becomes better. This is where you go to look for solace, for peace, that well of inner peace within. Look to it for this week for solace. Okay, and understanding that the dynamics within your relationships are not inevitable it's what's meant to happen at this point in time so i'm going to be using the ask angels for you i'm feeling it's a high energy week lots will be taking place because we have archangel michael he's asking you this week to step back and observe okay things will be taking place in the physical world but by looking within and understanding that deep well of inner peace within you are able to remain grounded as things go by okay step back and observe okay highly important this week that you do so before situations evolve beyond your control okay really step back and observe call on archangel michael your team we have archangel uil as well shine your inner light the trumpet of the lord so it's listening to the higher calling the only way you could do so is by looking within really center the self and go within so you could make the decisions and choices that's within okay the highest good for everyone involved okay you also have archangel ariel the nature angel okay focus on health the changes within your body she's asking you to move forward with joy and love archangel ariel yeah time to move forward leaving all the old behind all that no longer serves so the, again this message is echoing the previous set of messages all right echoing yeah um step back and observe as things change as you evolve and watch people leave your life okay um things are happening the way it should people um who are not there for you who who are harboring feelings against you just watch them walk away don't fight it don't fight situations okay let things take place naturally this week so if you're into crystals and you want to connect with archangel michael you could use a sugar light crystal all right but it's a strong call for you to really step back in perspective and observe see all that you have to be grateful for as people run around you know headless 
okay emotional you remain grounded step back and observe and be very thankful and grateful for all that you have and the you know that the divine light that runs through your veins can assist you in cutting all cords of attachment okay simple archangel invocation check on my youtube channel for angel invocations and prayers all right archangel uriel higher calling um decisions and choices for the greater good okay the trumpet of the lord hearing the call and evolving yeah so if you're into crystals and you want to con connect with uriel ritulated quartz is the crystal that you could use all right change and growth do not happen without you or outside of you so again look within to the changes that are taking place and if you want to connect with archangel ariel using a crystal it is rhodochrosite crystal but it's time for you to move forward with joy and love laughing happy surround yourself with positive energies people who support your growth so as all as the old falls away look forward to the new look forward to the new beginnings new people okay that could assist you in growing all right um your message from god's promises is live a life of service okay and i could really identify with this because bringing those messages to you on a weekly monthly basis is how i am able to serve okay this is how I, you know, took up my mission to serve. So whatever resonates with you, you know, I am very grateful. And if nothing resonates with you, look out for another messenger, another oracle who resonates with your energy field because we all bring a different part of the message. So now little children abide in him that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. This is first John two verse 28 all right live a life of service what does this mean to you can you identify with this what avenue are you using to serve at this point in time like share comment and for a personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below have an amazing week see ya